morning folks. Well, it's a bit windy today, so we didn't bother going out fishing. Got a couple of days coming up that are going to be decent weather, so we thought we'd give it a go with a bit of mud crabbing today. So we've headed out to this creek, and we're going to put some nets in, go and check for some cra crab holes, see if we can find anything. Let's see how we get on. I've never done it before. Well, I've, I've netted for mud crabs, but I've never used like a hook, so it looks perfect, perfect conditions. We're just coming, we've got about an hour before low tide, so it's probably the best time. And we're just gonna have a good old walk around, check all, check all the holes, check all the creeks, check all these little pools, put a couple of nets in, see how we get on. Righto, let's get these nets out I reckon first. Get these nets out and start foraging. Right, oh, here's the gear we're going to be using. We've got three crab nets, we've got some mullet, and we've got these crab hooks, which I made. So basically, it's 90 degree angle there, a handle on there, and then the idea is you go into the hole, turn it around behind the crab, pull it out. That's, that's the theory, whether it works like that. Nah, put a whole one in. Or do you want to go half? Just thread that spike right through so the buggers can't nick it. Yeah, I'll try this one first. I've already done this one. Just spike it long ways through. that going through your end. Easy for you. That's it, perfect. So we'll do three like that and then we'll go and lob them out. Put the old reef boots on. I've got some uh, insect repellent as well but it's a bit windy at the minute but I reckon if that wind drops off we'll start getting sand flies and shit and get bloody mullered. Like I said, there's people have spotted crocs here in the past. So let's get these nets in. Where are you going to stick yours? Oh, definitely, we'll put one in that channel. I might stick one about halfway along here. Up here. I don't know, I don't even know how deep it is, but... Not very. It's pretty shallow, but as the tide comes in, ah, oh, that went upside down. Let's get this right, shall we? I don't want it landing upside down. That do perfect. <coughs> So I'll leave that like that. And hopefully that will sit like that. And we'll stick another one a bit further up there. 
Right, so now we've got to look for crab holes. No, it is a big... Put your, see if you can feel anything. Some of them are just like... See, I reckon they're in here. One thing about this job as well is that you're going to get covered in shit. Given up on the hooks, couldn't really find any mud uh, cra crab holes. Maybe they were, maybe th there were some holes, small holes in that, but I'm not, I don't think they were crab holes. I think they were just like, I don't know, little crabs or whatever, but they weren't big mud crabs. So we're just going to continue with the nets now, and the tide's going to start coming in. So hopefully, in a couple of hours, we might start chucking some stick baits about and see if we can get some queen fish or mangrove jacks or something. Seagulls are sitting there merrily waiting for me to bring my net in so they can steal the bait. Yeah, you're gonna have a bit of a wait, mate. Yeah, that's what I said. So we had a we had a walk we had a walk around over there, but there was loads of sinking mud. Well not really bad sinking mud, but just getting up to your knees and it was just hard going. And we found a crab under one of those rocks, but couldn't get it out because of the rocks. All the rocks in the way. So we've just thrown the nets back out, but still a wicked day. Stephen's put his float over there. You just see the float there. It's got it in a little rock pool thing there. And the other two are over there. We'll pull in. Oh be a muddy. Is that a muddy? Yes it is. Another one. Will it be size? Don't know. And then you, what you do is go like that. You grab them around there. And the little shits can't bite you. Ah, oh, it's lost a claw. Spewing. Right, I'll just give it a wash up and we put it in ice. That's it, crab number one. Give him a clean off. Thank you very much. And he can go in the esky. Another one, I 
don't think this one would be size. We're just going to measure it. Feisty little bugger at all. Oh, would you credit it? Though? Would you credit it? Nothing in the whole of the mangroves apart from this and it hooks around it. <laughs> right, well that's a green mud crab. And you can tell because they've got spikes on here and spikes there and the brown has got blunt spikes there so and that's one 130 so if it was a brown we'd have kept it but it's a green so it'll have to go back which is annoying because look at the size of the claws on it but That's how they keep the fishery good because they have size limits. That way we've got a good stock. So we can go back. Off he goes. Right, let's go and check the other ones. So the minimum size for mud crabs is 150. And that one as you can see is 135. And that one's smaller. So they can go back. Put them somewhere where we're not fishing. So I can move the nets up there. A bit more water. Oh, we could put it there. I might put one down in over there. Just as long as we've got deep water. Off your toodle. Go on then, wrong way. Wrong way. Go on. Feisty little buggers, look at them. Go on. That's it folks, a couple of mud crab for dinner tonight. Don't forget as usual, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next one.